Although the appearance of this car was developed with the participation of Maestro Peter Schreier, it cannot boast of 100% recognition from any distance, from any angle. Initially, it was intended for the American market, but two years after the start of sales, it was forced to leave it due to low demand. It has a frame and a transfer case with a reduction gear, but is not included in the glorious cohort of uncompromising crooks since it demonstrates very average off-road ability. In our country, it has been on sale since 2009, but despite all this, it enjoys, albeit not too high, but quite stable demand, which the flurries of economic crises could not shake. We are talking about the seven-seater Kia Mojave. Hate number five, Brand Locudos. A large, solid SUV, with a strict appearance, not burdened with an excess amount of chrome, maybe a bit boring, but definitely not repulsive, with quite decent interior equipment, a powerful engine and a moderate, for such a car, price. It would seem that what else is needed? But a person who spends a quite tangible amount, before the crisis about one and a half million, after almost three, would like to confirm his status. That's just status has not yet become a strong point of the Kia brand, although certain progress in this direction is clearly taking place. In so many reviews, the owners almost justify themselves, explaining why they opted for this model and did not buy something more prestigious. So they write in their reviews, somewhere I read a test of premium SUVs, Range Rover, Mercedes GL, and others. Kia was not there, but looking at the characteristics table, power, number of gears, trunk volume, etc., I found that Mojave fits well into this company and even surpasses some of them. The only fundamental difference is the lack of show-offs. As a result, the majority of Mojave owners are mature people, aged 40 to 50, who are not inclined to show off. Nevertheless, in many reviews there is a certain resentment that the drivers of Kosh K, Outlander, RAV4, and even Toronto cast Hadi looks at them, although, in theory, the Mojave is clearly at least a notch higher in the automotive rankings. One joy, thanks to this modesty, the Kia Mojave attracts the attention of all sorts of Gapota in the yards no more than the Renault Duster. Love number five, cabin volume and comfort. Most of the stories of Mojave owners begin with a story about how they came to their choice, and almost always the main criterion is one, they needed a big car for sane money. The third child was born in the family, and the question arose of acquiring not just an SUV, but a seven-seater SUV. There were simply no options for this money and no. Indeed, that's really something, but the volume and spaciousness of the Mojave interior can please even a very fastidious buyer. A family of five, two adults, three children. There is a place for everyone, the kids are in the seats, there is room for bags in the trunk, the seat to the right of the driver is also suitable for them, the wife and the baby are sitting together in the third row. True, some people note that five adults with the third row folded feel some embarrassment, but if one of them is a child, then it is already quite comfortable. And if you expand the third row and send a child there with a pillow and a blanket, then the five of you can drive at least 4,000 kilometers one way with complete comfort. The car is also suitable for long distance travel, since the second and third rows fold into a flat floor, forming two berths 2M long. Indeed, Mojave boasts almost the most voluminous interior in the class, and therefore the nickname Fly assigned to it looks like trolling, banter, and irony. And what's also nice, despite all this volume, the inhabitants of the cabin do not feel any problems either with heating in winter or with cooling in summer. Hate number four, not having the right options. In principle, Mojave, even in the basic configuration, can be called a very well-equipped car. All the more incomprehensible and offensive seems to the owners the absence of some systems and devices that are not available either in the initial configuration or for an additional fee. It is completely incomprehensible to Russian buyers how it was possible to design a real SUV with a frame and a reduction gear and not provide for a rear towing eye in it. So you are going to the forest and you are stuck in such a place that you can only pull the car back. And what to do? Well, or vice versa, you are ready to help a friend. What, tow it in reverse along the highway? 
In many reviews, the owners complain about the dashboard, which does not have a backlight brightness control. The dashboard sparkles, burns and glows like a Christmas tree, and you won't be able to reduce its ardor. It's very annoying at night. Here, however, there is still a solution you can pick up a rheostat from the Korean version of the car. No fewer Mojave owners complain about the lack of an automatic turn signal that provides three operations with a single touch of the lever and the lack of a rain sensor and automatic windshield wipers, despite the fact that the light sensor and automatic head light control are even in the basic configuration. Someone is perplexed by the absence of a servo drive for opening the rear door in a car that costs more than 2 million rubles. Someone lacks the speed limit function. Well, absolutely everyone is surprised by the fundamental absence of a luggage compartment curtain. Against this background, complaints about the lack of mechanical rear differential locks, which, of course, reduces patency, for example, in loose snow, compared to real SUVs, already look like a kind of whim. Only people who bought into the presence of a frame and a lower gear and believed Mojave to be a real rogue can express them. Those owners who soberly assess the car's talents classify it as a comfortable cruiser and not as an uncompromising conqueror of swamps and abysses. Love number four, ergonomics, visibility, noise isolation. And the comfort of the Mojave Salon really does not hold. At least there is definitely no less of it than in the Honda Pilot, although the car does not reach the level of executive cars like the Audi A8 or BMW 7 Series. On the seats, though rough, but the skin, and everywhere, and not just on the landing surface. Plastic is soft almost everywhere, except for the visor above the instrument cluster and the lower part of the front panel. Good roomy glove box and box armrest, and the latter with a cold air supply system. The pockets in the doors are deep enough so that nothing falls out of them. There are heated steering wheel, all seats, and the possibility of ventilation for the driver. Many people note the excellent ergonomics of the driver's workplace, neither drivers with a height of about 170 centimeters, nor giants with a height of 2 meters have any problems. The electric drive of the pedal assembly made it possible to accommodate very comfortably with my height of 195 centimeters. This is the only car in which I don't I was forced to move the seat all the way back. The driving position is perfect. Most of all, it reminds me of landing in a Toyota Land Cruiser 200. And it's certainly much more convenient here than, say, in a Mitsubishi Pajero 4, where the steering column is very much shifted to the left and there is really no more space behind the wheel than in a Skoda Yeti or Toyota RAV4. The owners also positively evaluate the profile of the seats with very significant lateral support. Many reviews note the convenience of getting in and out, which is greatly facilitated by the fact that when the ignition is turned off, the seat moves to the rearmost position and the steering wheel moves forward and up when turned on, vice versa. Quite comfortable in the second row of seats, which can move back and forth and have an adjustable backrest, and the third row can be assessed as quite complete. At least two adults can fit in there without problems and can ride as long as they need to. Fans of gadgets and additional electronics are pleased with four cigarette lighter sockets, three of which are located on the front panel. There are no complaints about visibility. Due to the small slope of the windshield, the pillars practically do not interfere. Pleases the owners and review back. Reverse visibility through the side mirrors is excellent. They are simply the height of information content and cannot be compared with the mirrors on the Mitsubishi Pajero 4, which are clearly insufficient in width. But the central mirror is uninformative when moving backward and is used only for orientation in the traffic on the highway. When parking, you can use regular parking sensors. There is also a rear view camera that displays information on the interior mirror. You don't experience problems with maneuvers back with these options. And almost every review mentions excellent sound insulation. Tires are barely audible when driving. The engine purrs in a bass voice after 3000 to 3500 RPM. Up to this point, you can't hear it at all. The oncoming wind begins to howl only after 150 to 160 kilometers per hour. When you start the engine, you know that you are in the cabin of a diesel car, solely by the maximum number of engine revolutions drawn on the tachometer. 
I really want to take my hat off to the Koreans, excellent sound insulation of the engine compartment, as well as the complete absence of the expected vibrations from the diesel heart of the car in the cabin, Shunka is better than on premiums like Infinity. And do not think that all this is written by people who have never tasted anything sweeter than hell. For the most part, the autobiography of the authors lists the ownership of those cars with which they compare Mojave. Hate number three, quality of plastic and paintwork. But the quality of finishing materials often becomes the subject of very sharp criticism. First of all, it concerns the plastic in the cabin. Here's what one of the owners writes, the plastic of the torpedo looks good, but it is very easily soiled, even drops of clean water leave traces. And if you splash soda, it looks like an adult movie was filmed in the salon. All wipes and plastic care sprays leave streaks. By trial and error, I found out that only abundant treatment with silicone grease, followed by polishing, gives a decent look. On the doors, the plastic is less easily soiled, but it is easily scratched, even with a fingernail. Some even decide to paste over two scratched panels with fleecy material. Many reviews mention peeling paint on the steering wheel fitting leather. On the previous car, after 50,000 kilometers, the steering wheel looked better than here after five. The paint is just wiped off, comma the leather on the steering wheel was wiped off, apparently, he did not believe his luck and squeezed the steering wheel too much. This problem is so serious that dealers agree to change the steering wheel under warranty, and this happens at runs of 8 to 10,000 kilometers. The owners also scold the paintwork, especially on the hood and rear door. After the purchase, I recommend immediately booking the front of the hood with a transparent film. This will save you from touching up chips. Another weak and quickly blooming place is the body near the edge of the windshield. As a treatment, an insert of a rubber molding is proposed. Well, the glasses themselves are also quite soft, like all Korean cars, and suffer greatly from chips. Love number three, fuel consumption and maintenance costs. The owners of Kia Mojave, as a rule, are wealthy and successful people. But they are not so wealthy that they do not pay attention to fuel consumption and operating costs in general. And in this regard, the fly only pleases its owners. Consumption on the highway, 5 people plus luggage, 8 to 9 liters per 100 kilometers. The city of Moscow, summer of winter, 12.5 to 13.5 liters. Like a Neva for money, consumption on the highway in the summer, with air conditioning and a full load, with a cruising speed of 120 km slash h, it does not rise above 9.7 l slash 100 km, and traffic jams a maximum of 11.6 liters, by the way, about the expense. Driving around the city at a pace like everyone else, that is, at speeds up to 60, traffic lights and so on, consumes less than 7 liters. I didn't expect this myself, and this is in the winter, comma German or Swiss autobahns, Polish crooked low-speed roads, the Belarusian Olympic track and mountain roads of the Alps, that's when the mountain brake option came in handy, the average consumption is 9.4 liters per 100 kilometers, up to 100 kilometers slash h, consumption of 8.5 liters, up to 130 kilometers slash h, 10.5 liters. Moreover, there were four people in the car, a load of 100 kilograms and a box with skis on top. Consumption in winter in Moscow traffic jams is 12 to 15 liters. In principle, the owners estimate the average consumption of diesel fuel at 11 to 12 liters per 100 kilometers, which is more than acceptable for a heavy car weighing 2,300 kilograms. Maintenance costs do not seem excessive either. During maintenance, all spare parts are quite adequate, despite the dollar exchange rate. The main set of consumables for this car is at least 20% cheaper than premium competitors, and for some items the difference can reach several times. No one noticed a frank marriage in any nodes during the operation of Mojave in Russia. Finally, the owners are pleased with the service interval of 15,000 kilometers. Hate number two, suspension roll. Not all owners are united in assessing the Kia Mojave suspension. Quite a lot of people even like the American softness and impressiveness. In my opinion, this is the suspension that a large frame SUV should have. You don't go, but you swim. And yet, 
in most reviews, it is the suspension setting that is subjected to rather harsh criticism. I don't really like the suspension because of the roll. It's not very comfortable on a broken primer and is prone to buildup. The owners are especially frustrated by the fact that the looseness of the suspension and the American-style empty steering will conflict with the speed and dynamic capabilities of the car. When driving through potholes and poor quality asphalt, there are practically no vibrations on the steering wheel, which is very nice on public roads outside the Moscow Ring Road. However, the negative side is the almost empty steering wheel in the near-zero zone which requires periodic steering at speeds of more than 130 kilometers slash h. If someone compares the handling of this car with a sedan, he will be frightened by significant body roll. Passengers in the second row of seats can spoil the cabin because with frequent changes in speed and numerous lane changes, they begin to experience seasickness. But on primers or broken asphalt, too, not everything, thank God. It's very uncomfortable to drive this car on bad roads, and it's scary on country paved roads. The shock absorbers are rather weak for such a mass of the car and do not work out the terrain. They spring with a short stroke. As a result, the sensations are obtained as from a fast cart ride, with a furious effect. When braking on a bad road, there is some kind of incomprehensible return to the brake pedal, but this is not ABS. The car becomes poorly controlled. As a result, many owners decide to do improving on their own, and someone completely removes the air suspension, while someone, on the contrary, puts air bellows on both axles, and stock they are only at the back. Many people put spacers under the springs and change the standard shock absorbers to some other ones, such as the Coney Heavy Raid. As a result, according to the owners, there is an improvement in handling, the throwing of the rear axle on bumps disappears, but the car as a whole becomes much stiffer. Love number two, engine and gearbox combination. The situation with suspension tuning seems especially offensive to active drivers because the combination of a 250 horsepower V-shaped diesel engine with ZF automatic transmissions, both six and eight speed, can be called almost ideal. It is this combination that in most reviews is named among the main advantages of the model. Despite the weight, the car drives very dynamically. Due to the huge torque, the box does not drop into kick down once again, acceleration is smooth and powerful. Even from a speed of 100 km per hour, about 1,500 RPM in 8th gear, to 140 km per hour, about 2,000 RPM, you accelerate quickly and smoothly uphill in a few seconds. If you stop on the gas pedal, then after a short hitch, the feeling of a kick in the ass occurs at any speed. More than 150 km slash h did not accelerate, the claimed top speed of 192 km per hour at 4000 rpm engine cutoff is quite real. I'll tell you separately about driving in the mountains in the Crimea, on the south coast highway, where there are many serious ups and downs, the car goes uphill just with trolleybus acceleration. I don't remember a single car capable of demonstrating such acceleration uphill, and this is considering that the weight of the car is 2,300 kilograms and another 400 to 500 kilograms of cargo. Conclusion, the engine plus the box is just a song. And I quoted only a small fraction of the enthusiasm dedicated to the engine, gearbox, and dynamics. As for the possibilities of the flies outside the asphalt, then everything is not so sweet. However, even in the off-road, decent traction on the bottoms will not be superfluous at all, and if you don't demand some absolutely impossible feats from the car, then it will cope with a muddy primer and a snow ambush. In a word, you can safely go to the country house, picnic, or fishing, but you still shouldn't take part in trophy raids. Hate number one, air suspension issues. Naturally, Kia Mojave also has congenital diseases. These, for example, include frankly weak wheel bearings, which were replaced free of charge along with the steering knuckles during the recall campaign. But the main irritant for the owners was the regular failure of the air suspension, and not the pneumatic elements themselves, but the position sensors and the wiring suitable for them. The mention of this trouble is found, if not in every review, then exactly in two reviews out of three. From the very birth of the fly, she was gifted with air suspension. Nothing, the years went by, the warranty ended, and the everyday life of the layman began. 
air suspension position sensors began to fly regularly. Applying to the officials is a stupid idea, they will stupidly sentence you to replace the sensor, but this can only help for a while, and the price of the sensor is rather big. I took it on the market for 6,700 rubles, it's more expensive from the officials, in fact, replacing a sensor with wires and work costs 11 to 12,000 rubles. Sensors fail due to poor waterproofing of joints, this happens with a frequency of about once every 1.5 to 2 years and, as usual, at the most inopportune moment. On the internet, you can find a lot of recommendations from experienced flight guides on what to do if one side of the car has fallen on you. And here's what you need to do, somehow get to the sensor of the fallen side, on a pit, lift, or something else, and pull off the cable going to the failed sensor, it is located near the airbag. This is done simply, use a flat screwdriver to wring out the chip with two fasteners. Everything, the cable is dropped. Then the machine automatically aligns the position of the fallen side according to the second sensor. A garland of three green air suspension position diodes will light up on the dashboard panel. This indicates an emergency mode. You can ride in this version until the second sensor dies. At least, if such a situation happens on the road, you still get to the house and a normal service. Nevertheless, many are not ready to change sensors with depressing constancy. Some of the owners had to repeat this procedure four to six times, and they decide to replace the pneumatic elements with springs. What is needed for this? The very decision to go for such an operation, two lower rear levers, two springs, two hours of personal time, and 19,000 rubles. After the operation, you will have two removed airbags, two levers, and a constantly burning garland on the dashboard. If you don't like it, you can return the pneumatic elements to their place, or you can decide that the verdict is final, remove the compressor, sensors along with wires, and sell them to pay for the installation of springs. Love number one, overall reliability. And yet, Despite the objective problems with the air suspension, Mojave has earned a reputation for exceptionally reliable car, and it is the overall reliability that is put by the authors of the reviewers at the top of the list of model advantages. Actually, you can give the word to the owners themselves, very reliable, nothing breaks at all, during the year of our friendship with the fly, there were no surprises, it serves faithfully, for which the engineers of South Korea Grand Merci, during the time of ownership absolutely nothing broke in the car, the car honestly took me and my family 160,000 kilometers, she never let me down, plant in any frost. I felt pleasure from moving on it, a kind of symbiosis of a sedan with diesel traction and a jeep with moderate cross-country ability. I was not afraid to drive it from Moscow for three to 4,000 kilometers, mileage 136,000 kilometers, changed pads two times, light bulbs nearby three times, dimensions two bulbs, now one fog light burned out, the brush fuse burned twice, I changed it myself. There is nothing more to add happy for almost three years it is no accident that among the authors of the reviews there are those who bought the first fly back in 2010 or 2011 changed it to the updated mojave in 2017 and are now waiting for the second generation of this model to appear on the russian market